Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode on the new CFR. We are jumping in again. The streak begins once more and we are gonna play as regular old Blue Baby I think this time around. I want to mix in modded characters here and there and I am gonna add some new modded characters to the series somewhat soon. But we also do have vanilla characters, completion marks to go through as well. There's plenty of unlocks for us to get. I don't want to completely exclude them from our, from our choices. I know that you guys sometimes prefer to see the modded characters, and they do tend to be the videos that get a little bit higher views. But these, uh, this guy, he's he's a good he's a good fella. Um, oh wow, camo undies off the bat is very very nice. I really really like the new camo undies. Um, I mean, honestly, mainly just for the speed up outside of combat that it gives you, essentially. Uh, but also, of course, for the massive stat increase it gives you for a second or so after a de-stealthing. It's, it's very, very nice. It's very, very nice. Um, not a huge fan of this, um, of this poop resprite that we've got here, to be honest. I don't know where I got that from. I do have like a few different resprite packs that get updated uh, every now and again, so I don't exactly like see slash know when or what has been updated in them. Honestly, this guy, this guy's kind of a gooba goose. He keeps reforming and I can't deal with him. Come on, there you go, we finally got him. But yeah, um, I think we're doing pretty well. I think we're doing pretty well. Oh God. In terms of question of the day in this day, on this this very day, what's a, what's a game that's sort of coming up at the moment that you think has a lot of promise that's maybe been overlooked? I think there's quite a lot of those at the minute. Um, I've just recently started playing um, a game called X Defiant. I think it's called. Um, it, it's in a it's in a closed beta at the minute, and I luckily got access to it. And it's basically like a Call of Duty style multiplayer game, and I'm big into Call of Duty, or at least was, so um, I wanted to give it a go, and I am so far really liking it, but it seems the general consensus online is like, I'm not saying it's, it's a, it, that people think it's bad, but it doesn't seem to be talked about all that much, really. Um, and so, yeah, it's, it, it's kind of a surprise to see, so be interesting to hear what some other games that are coming up that you guys think are maybe being not looked at as much as they maybe should be. Honestly, not too bad start here. Um... Managed to get some good stuff going. Um, what do we need to do as you? I'd like to do Mega Satan and maybe Dark Path. We haven't done Dark Path in a little while, to be honest. Let's just go for that. Um, I want to throw a Mother Runs here and there, but honestly, um, I, I kind of need a really good start for a Mother Run to be on uh, on the cards. And to be honest, this is a pretty good start. I, I think I think I could I could probably vouch for doing a Mother Run with this one um, and be reasonably happy with it, but. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna take Dark Path and try and maybe do Mega Satan here. Um, we of course do want to take Devil Deals as this good old chap because we get them cheaper. Uh, so it means that we'll have to also pay for the, uh, the Devil Key as well. Um, and take the Mega Satan Devil Path that is ahead of us. Honestly, the buffs to Blue Baby with poops. So nice. I mean, I do have a mod that makes it so you can get dips and you start with Petrified Poop, which certainly makes him a lot easier, but even just the flies. That we're getting on these early floors when there's so many of these um of these random poops about it's, it's kind of crazy how uh how stacked you can get just how stacked we can get dude that was that was a preemptive throw right there he kind of threw that where i was going to be and i do not appreciate it class d8 d8s are always a bit jank like if it's like kind of like if i had another one in tow ready to go then I'd feel a bit more inclined to, to take that risk. But when you don't have one ready and raring to go, it's like, ah, oh, it just doesn't sit right. Because it could just go so wrong. And I don't know about it. I don't know about that. But I'm, I'm on a bit of a, a bit of a high today. Uh, do you know what? I know this is a little bit, it is a little bit risky, but it could pay off. And it massively paid off. Wow. The Peeler Duplex, really nice for um, slightly bigger tiers, but also Spectral. Spectral's definitely the, the part out of it I want more than anything else and we'll also check out our shop here because we've got good money one second sorry i thought i was going to sneeze and it, it, it never came um i'm gonna donate a little bit here because the item isn't something i really want and i've been abusing my donation machine a little bit here so i'll give a little bit back um we've got a good run we don't really need to buy um but yeah i'm on a little bit of a high today because um i did like been a reasonably stressful time with stuff with work right now oh, 
I can't believe how badly I cocked that up then. I kind of forgot that the poop did that little fart effect, and I also forgot just how ridiculous the range on that fart effect was, and I just blasted my bomb miles away by accident. <clears throat> my bad, I guess. Little bit of a cock up. What the hell? Them guys go wild when they get hit by dips. Wouldn't have expected that. Do you know what? I don't think we got thingy unlocked, you know. Um, I, I honestly don't know if we can do the whole leaving you alive shtick if um, we've got dips on the board, because they technically do deal damage to you. But I'll try my best. Uh, I just think, don't think we've done this yet on this save file, so... It might take a while, just because if the dip damage does count, it's going to be rather problematic. Dips are all dead now, unfortunately, sir. But yeah, I'll, I'll leave. I'll leave her to do her thing, and I think this will unlock the plum flute, um, as well as actually giving us the plum flute itself, which isn't a bad uh, active for us to take, to be honest. I, I I don't know if it's better than the poop. I'll be honest. Uh, with with um, petrified poop, it's it's hard to say. But I think I'll take it regardless. It's a fun active, nonetheless. There you go. Yeah, there you go. I didn't think we'd done that yet. Yeah, I'll take Plum Flute. It's probably not that much better, but I do quite like it. Um, and we get some pretty good stuff here. Uh, we get this and this. Lovely. We don't have a bomb for this. Bollocks. Oh, my goodness. Big fail. Okay, we have to come back for that. Uh, right, let's just go. But yeah, Mum's Knife Run. It's been a little while. Uh, I really like the fact that we just managed to grab... Empty vessel as well, which goes goes along quite nicely with uh, with Mum's knife, I would say. Really shouldn't have done that there. I should have grabbed that on the way out. Um, jigsaw puzzle. I'm trying to fucking kill Plum there. That's my Plum, you fool. But yeah, it's been a long, long while since I had a Mum's knife run, so... Certainly a bit of a change up. Now, the question is, do I want to now keep um, the jigsaw piece trinket? Let me just quickly check exactly what it does. Um, only once drops a puzzle piece on floor start, raises the chance. Yeah, I'll take it. It's uh, it's a potential of getting an item. And petrified poop, it's fun. We, we like it, but we've got um, something a little more interesting now, I think, here. Unfortunately, did get hit on that other one there, but that's no problem. But yeah, this is a, a kind of a classic run here. Now, unfortunately, with this being a charge-based item, it has ruined our ability. Do you know what? I'll check this out for two keys. Um, we'll never know. Um, it's a D20 room, which kind of sucks because this... Um, oh, wait. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. It's fine. Oh, yes. I can sneak in. And I can grab this. Smelts a random trinket onto us. Child leash she is fine. Crack that open. Very, very nice. And now this will re-roll all of this, right? Yeah. I'll even crack that open. Really? Gotta be kidding me. That's kind of an evil room right there. Um, not only does it cover up... Oh, also, we got the, uh, the, the mum knife out the back of us. Wow, we got three mums items already? Wow kind of crazy. Uh, I do have better transformations installed. I'm not quite sure what the improvement is to the mum transformation. I, I don't remember. Um, but yeah, we unfortunately can't... Oh, okay. Periodical random stomps. That's what it is. Um, I'm guessing they're directed specifically at enemies. So it makes makes the mum transformation actually pretty damn good. Um, I like that. But yeah, what I was trying to say is I can't really effectively use... Um, my camo undies anymore because we have a charge based. I mean, I can use it for like getting around, but um, I can't really use it otherwise. So I think basically the way that this mum, uh, this this mum transformation works is when I have a uh, when I enter a room, there's a chance that a random enemy gets stomped. I mean, I have to be careful for that because that could definitely spell trouble, especially if it can happen on the boss. Do you know what? Death's List is not a bad grab here. Not a bad grab at all. I found pills and ate them. This is an interesting run to start off. 
But yeah, um, I was I was kind of got distracted there. I've been doing some work stuff uh, over the weekend, and it went really, 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 really well. And it was something that that I wasn't sure if it was going to go well, and it was pretty important that it did. So I'm feeling very, very good, very, very good. But yeah, if we can make Death's List work more often, it'd be good stuff. It can really pay out with some important stuff. Does this synergize? I'm fairly sure. Okay. Now, one thing I just want to quickly check here. I have a mod that adds new Mum's Knife synergies. Uh, Mum's Knife. See if I can find the mod. New Mum's Knife synergies. I just want to see if this is one of the ones that's added via this mod or if this is one that already exists. Um, it seems to be one that already exists, actually, which I didn't know. But cool. That's pretty cool, though. That's pretty cool. I like that. Mysterious Liquid is an item that I absolutely love as it as it is, and even even better when um I can you know I'll pop this. Even better when I can uh, use it with Mum's knife. Okay. Not great around all around here, but we'll take the glass chest regardless. I think. And you know what? I'll pop you as well. That's butt penny. I don't want butt penny. But yeah, being able to leave that creep underneath and also do the extra bit of uh, damage when we kill an enemy because it leaves a bit of creep is real good. It, wait, wait, is it Toxic Shock that leaves a creep on the floor when they die or Mysterious Liquid? I, I think it's Toxic Shock I'm thinking of there, actually. So we do get a puzzle piece off the bat here. A stranger. Ah, the, the, the goddamn thing was in the way and I forgot about the death list. Whoops. But yeah, I think for a little while here with our damage sitting how it currently sits... We're going to be in a pretty good place to um, to make some waves and, and move pretty fast. Trying to make Death's List work wherever I can. Mainly because you can get stat increases from it. Um, unfortunately, Mum's Knife is going to be doing some, uh, some multi-killing here and there. Which is going to make things harder. Now, that kind of works quite well with our... Um, Works quite well with our current setup with the mum's foot coming in. Now, unfortunately, a chest that we can't do anything with. We do get another puzzle piece already. A stranger will hurt. So I'm guessing so far we're getting a familiar. But I'd imagine a stranger will hurt means. Secret room could easily be uh, to the left here. Okay, unfortunately, Daddy Longlegs is going to target randomly. But we did, we've got some fire right up there. It's going to attack it randomly and it might throw off our, um... So many of these keys. I don't really care about either of these, I'll be honest. Um... It's going to throw off our death list sometimes because it's going to hit the wrong enemy. And there's some range, which actually does matter for uh, Mum's Knife now. And the foot as well. Okay, so it's not going to be all that plausible to always aim for who we want to aim for in these situations, but... Hey her. That's just how it goes down sometimes. Otherwise, we are doing real well. Real well. Coming in. I'm not getting hit very often either, which is nice. Yeah, see, situations like that. I had a, an enemy lined up there. And because that other enemy was closer, he just kind of went for that one. Hey, and then we got a shot speed upgrade there as well. Now, this one's impossible to, to play around with. Realistically, shop again. We're doing well on shops. Good, good thing is it does work on rooms like this as well, where there's only one thing to do. Another fire rate increase. Death list is uh, proving to be kind of insane right now. We're getting a lot of consumables as well, and we get to keep all these bombs. Another fire rate increase. Wow, this floor has been insane. Absolutely insane. So Deathless has already more than paid for itself here. Ooh, hello. I don't, I'm not sure where that nickel came from, I'll be honest. I used plum flute and it spawned a nickel. Don't know what that's about. Um ooh! That's really good. In cleared rooms, this increases. So we get a massive speed boost in uncleared rooms, which we're already getting from um from our, our wee little underwears. Okay, now this is definitely, definitely an item that gets a synergy. Ocular Rift. Spawns a rift when the knife reaches its peak. Yeah. 
That's pretty good stuff. Wow, okay. That's... Can I just... I don't even have to fully charge it to spawn one. I have to just over half charge it and it works. A little bit worried about our current HP now, but... Oh, black out there, okay. Uh, yeah, so far, pretty happy. I I'm glad that I got uh, a modded synergy for Mom's Knife. The mods by James that add synergies to items that don't normally have them are uh, amazingly great. Yeah, this is this is an on-demand way to spawn rifts is kind of nutty. I think that Death List is probably going to get thrown by the wayside here. I've got to imagine, but I will try my best. I will try my best where it is plausible. Like here. Nah, my foot already got to the wrong one. Oh wait, no, that actually that actually propped that time. There's also flies to worry about as well. We do actually have a little bit too much range right now. It's it's popping our uh, popping our things off of the map. Our rifts are uh, off the screen, off the charts. Look at that! Just rifting it up everywhere. Brilliant. Thank that's one. We might as well just go for the boss. Oh, we managed to get a stat increase there from something. I don't really know. Wow, we are dominating right now, and we got another devil deal. Even more range. Really didn't need that, I'll be honest. Um, seven seals, I'm going to certainly take. I really like. This does work with Mum's Knife, but I don't think I want it. Okay, the range increase is maybe not great. <laughs> I, may have, I may have kind of screwed up the, the Ocular Rift synergy with having this much range. Oh, dude, what the hell? Okay, we are we are in risky territory when it comes to HP now, like very risky territory. Um, so we're gonna want to find our shop and try and buy some. We have a lot of money, so. But yeah, at the minute we've got so much range that I think it's gonna be kind of hard for us to spawn rifts on purpose. We do have a tinted treasure room here, which I'm intrigued by. The bottle. Gain a bottle that behaves like Mum's knife but deals less damage. If the bottle is fully charged, it breaks when it hits an enemy dealing high damage and spawning uh, damaging glass shards. The bottle comes back uh, after five seconds. Ah, oh, let's give it a go. Why not? Oh, I, I got two of them. I literally, it gave me two of them. They were apparently they were reflected or golden, maybe. Now, the fact that the synergy still works is is mighty awesome. Okay. Interesting. Um, interesting. Slightly slightly risky being able to, like, completely get rid of our thingy, but the fact that we got two of them there and it actually stacked them like this is, is pretty awesome. Yeah, like, now I can't fire. They do recharge pretty quick, but that's still a little scary to be able to actually lose it. I mean, I can avoid it on purpose by just not fully charging, I suppose. Cambion Conception's pretty good here. Really should pop this. And the fact that it spawns two rifts as well is, is kind of nutty. Yeah, I can avoid it by just not fully charging, so it's not really that bad. It does do less damage than Mum's Knife this way. I realise that, but... Excuse me. Where's the other trinket that I had? What other trinket did I have? Oh, I had the puzzle box. I'm guessing it's uh, all used up now. I didn't realize it was something that couldn't be used more than once. This, this is a, this is a really intriguing run. Never had the bottle before either, which is pretty cool. Yeah, it, like, breaks on them. Okay, I've got a soul heart there, which is super important for us. Now, that's something that I'm very interested in. Being able to get angel deal items from item rooms now that we've got this much money and this setup, I think this is going to be a very, very positive for us. So, will this one count? It will. Unfortunately, not an item that's worth even remotely taking. 
Um, because we already have Flight, we already have Spectral, and we already have an item that would override and become Spectral regardless. So, unfortunately, bit of a flop there. Um, I don't know if this does anything for us, but I'll take it. It does. It does indeed make our knife bigger. Although only one of them, apparently, which is kind of funny. Um, and then we'll save the rest of our money for next floor. Whoopsie. <laughs> right, let's get gone. Really intriguing run here. Truly. Truly. I like the fact that even our, even our mum's knife uh, tail that we get from the mum synergy is also a bottle as well. <laughs> I appreciate it. And the fact that it's, like, still green as well. I really... Uh, blah, 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 blah. I really hope that the Tainted Treasure mod gets expanded upon by either the developer or other people, like, that make mods. Like, it'd be cool to see a Fiend Folio side and a Retribution side of that mod where there's some tainted versions of those items too. I I'd really love to see that. I know that's a big ask. It's a lot of work. I'm not expecting anyone to turn it around overnight, but I think that could be a really cool, like addendum onto an already cool mod. And then just seeing the mod itself have more vanilla items included. I, like, I, I kind of like the fact that it's limited. It shouldn't it shouldn't just be that every single item available has a tainted uh, counterpart. It should be a limited amount. But it'd be nice to see some more. Have some. Golden rope is pretty good. Um, I think I definitely want this. Golden Rope is definitely pretty good. I think I'm going to have to buy something to escape from this room, you know. I'm going to buy a sack to get out of this room. That's, it's a li little bit cheeky, mate. I've got to say, it's a little bit cheeky. Um, not quite sure I appreciate this uh, clear scan here, but I'll accept it. But yeah, we get we go up to two speed between rooms. I, I really like items that do stuff like this, that, that give you something that's purely, purely for, like, your own quality of life. Like, when uh, Enter the Gungeon added a speed up outside of combat to its settings, I was so, so happy about that when they added that. Ah, that was a really bad hit. Spear of Destiny. Is this just... Okay, this is just that spear. I wasn't quite sure if it was or not, but I'll take it. It's another knife to uh, to add to our collection, I guess. It's that half soul heart back, I guess. Unfortunately, this is the floor in which this trinket becomes a bit useless. Do we have boss rush? We do have boss rush. We're going to make it in time, just debating whether I should actually do it or not. I don't need to, but if there's a really good item, then I suppose I could. I've got an, a good active for it, I guess. Nothing else much we need to do this floor. So we're definitely taking this way. Check this out. Dumpy! Dumpy's pretty good. I can't believe Curse of the Tower would even dare to be one of these items. Yeah, let's do it and take Dumpy. Just like with the setup we've got right now. Let's get our spiky, uh, spiky glass for this. Why not? Okay, apparently the spiky glass can just crack again. Didn't realize that would be a thing. God damn, Kingpin, why you have to be so awful. Come on. Just be normal. Oh god, that almost hit me. I saw the sister vision behind me then I'm like, wait a minute. I know what's about to happen. Just set up a few of these here, look. Ah, oh, and then you didn't even spawn there. You little dick. Wow, that one was an insta-kill. My bad on getting hit there. Okay, wow, this thing does crazy damage at its maximum range. Do 
We can even get two plums on the same screen if we do it quick enough. Oh, what the fuck? How did that foot hit me? I'm calling bullshit on that. Yeah, get sat back down. That kind of pulled him back in. That was kind of funny. It like reeled him back. Need to make sure not to break my goddamn things. Dude, don't hit me with that. Thank goodness. I keep breaking my bottles and it's, it's, it's a bit of a nuisance. God damn, the, all the portals are just holding everything still for me. I'm a little, still a little bit worried about my current HP, I'll be honest. It's not in a great spot right now. Could certainly see myself getting hit a few times back to back on the womb and ending this whole shenanigan. But I'm a risk taker. You guys already know that. You guys are already ready for me to take unnecessary risks in the name of enjoyment of the game. Both for viewing enjoyment and my, my actually, me actually playing it enjoyment. I just love the fact that we've got like this permanent plum. Hey. And then we get Dr. Fetus. I'm interested to see how this plays out. So, in, in terms of the synergies for Dr. Fetus, there is a new one, isn't there? Uh, da, 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 da. Is there not? My Reflection Pop. Ocular. Anti-grav. I thought it added one. All right, let's see how this works. Okay, yeah, it does. It just it just places two bombs. Which is actually kind of sick with our rifts. Because it holds the bombs in place. This is very, very intriguing synergy-wise. We've got a lot of cool stuff going on right now. Now, it certainly adds some risk, and I do want to just check something. If I do a really pootily little... No, let's do that. Okay, no. It, it'll only place bombs once they're the maximum distance away. But also, they are mysterious liquid bombs on top of everything else. So, oh, this is... This is truly something special. Oh, the bombs explode immediately on contact with the enemy, too. So they're even less potentially dangerous for us. Also, did you see that when my, uh... My damage was increased there, I, uh... The bombs were bigger. Like when I when I entered the room. This is unprecedented amounts of fun. This is awesome. This is such oh, come on now. This is such a cool build. And I know it's gonna come crashing down just because of the way that this game is to me. I mean, thank god it gave me some HP there, but the game's gonna be mean to me. I just feel it in my soul. Oh, we've even got Spectral as well, so we're not going to hurt ourselves on rocks. I just, I'm not sure if this is how it would normally work. I think normally the way it would work is it would deposit the bombs and they'd kind of glide a little bit. But because of the um, situation we have going on currently with, uh, with our rifts, it's holding them in place and not letting them, like, stray too far away. Another soul heart here. Awesome. Okay, health is feeling a little bit safer now. Not amazing, but a little bit safer. Oh, there's a fucking spiked rock there. I did not see that. Binky and a soul heart there is uh, a little bit extra HP, though. <clears throat> this is just a lot of fun. This is just a really wacky, interesting synergy that's a lot of fun. And we managed to make quite a lot of health up off of that room there as well. Quite a lot indeed. I love the fact that we have Spectral alongside this. Like, the bombs are, like, like now the main feature of this because they trigger a uh, mysterious liquid. They get uh, caught up on the rifts. Dude, the soul hearts are coming fast and loose right now. This is awesome. Knew it was bound to happen at some point. I kind of have to accept that, don't I? Bound to hit myself eventually. It was... Just a matter of time, and then I did it straight away again, and again. Can we stop? Can we stop with the hitting myself with the explosions, please? Really not a good look for me. Did see a trinket drop back here. 
Can spawn random locusts when collecting pickups. That's actually pretty good. I'll take that. Good, good. Yeah, lost a little more health than I should have done there. Um, not quite sure what that little noise was then. More range. I've kind of said that range isn't really what we want, but honestly, now that we have now that we have the bombs, it's maybe it is because now we can fire more lightly and still fire further away from us, sort of thing. There's not as much worry factor with it, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. This is, yeah, this is beautiful. Like I said, I'm just, all it is is just a bit of worry for my current HP situation because I keep, if I keep having rooms like that last one where I just kind of got got myself hit a lot, it's gonna, it's gonna develop into something that's a problem. Right now, it's mostly fine, but it could easily, oh, look at that, the, the, the mysterious liquid and everything. Yeah, so it, it could really develop into something that, that causes issues for me. Situations like that ain't good for me. Do not like the eyes right now. The eyes are not good for me. Okay, at least that's sorted. We did get another devil deal. I'm unlikely to go for this though, I'll be honest. I mean Judas's shadow is not bad. Did not wanna did not wanna reveal you to me. Okay, we got you. You get a red chest for killing you, I always forget that. It's tempting to take Judas's Shadow, to be honest, because it is a revive. But then again, I, I don't know what I've already done as Judas, so it might not be worth anything to me. But I guess it's not a death, so I'll take it. And then we definitely ain't doing Hush. I mean, I don't think I've... No, I've already done Hush anyway, so there's no need. Uh, but yeah, having that revive, reasonably nice. We might have already done this as Judas, which would be a shame. I'm going to say that we probably already have, I'll be honest. Um, but it's better than a death, I suppose. And you never know, this floor could take us in another direction. We could end up getting a lot of HP here. You never really know. But yeah, I'm, I'm loving, loving the way that we're killing enemies right now. It's very intriguing. I should honestly play that guy, to be honest. I could I could end up getting some good stuff out of the Keymaster. Because we don't really need keys for the next floor much at all, so... I'll play him down to, like, three keys. Okay. That's it, folks. That's all she wrote. That's all she wrote, but there you go. We got an item out of that, and we got some health in the previous room. A was. Doesn't do much for us, I don't think, on this floor. Oh, the sterny fucked me. It's kind of rough with the sternies, honestly. They, uh, they trigger my bombs. A, we need to get some health back there. Seems to be that I get hit, and then immediately the game's like, have it back. Hey, there's a black heart as well. Wow. We have the speed here to uh, complete this rather quickly before they even got off a single brimstone blast. Kind of just going to let my buddies take care of this room for the most part, but I ended up having to get in there at the end. Pills aren't really my style right now. I don't think I really need to mess around with them. God damn. Careful around that. And on to the boss. Wow. And then we've got all, already got some portals set up. We get some bombs in there early on. 
yeah. No problem at all on this guy. No problem at all. There you go. Wow. Okay, this has been a rousing success so far. Forget me now. I didn't realize forget me now was an unlock. Um, and then we've got our chests here, which is useless. I mean, this is an even trade, so we just take that. This one is super tempting, and I think I'm going to have to, because if it works with our bombs, yeah, it's, it's pretty, it's pretty cool, right? Every now and again, get one of those bombs in there. I'm not quite sure what's going on with these enemies right now, I'll be honest. Never really figured it out. <laughs> I just kept going. Oh, wowee. I just want to check something. Yeah, those bombs are still in there. Basically, I just wanted to know that if I left bombs in a room, if they stayed there or not. Look foot. Doesn't do much for us, but I guess it's fine. I'm a little worried for my HP for Mega Satan, I'll be honest. Super easy for me to lose a lot of HP. But the game isn't really giving me any extra. I realise I did spend some unnecessarily. Kind of hoping we get an item that alleviates it somewhat, but... It's not looking likely. Why is there ghosts everywhere? It's like some of these pots release ghosts on destroying them. Maybe, it, maybe that's the case. What on earth? Oh, I was like, what on earth is that big eye enemy that realized it's just this boss's spawning animation? Very confused for a hot minute there. This is actually pretty good. We can use this and then press up. Because we're going to be firing up towards Mega Satan a lot. Just got to hope this guy doesn't do any too wacky attacks that get me deaded. There you go. No, thank you. I did see my victory laps and stuff at some point. Right. We're, we're in a, nice, a kind of strange spot right now. Because we probably should just go and do Mega Satan and hope for the best. But I'm going to risk doing some extra rooms. For the simple fact of just trying to get a few extra items. Because if we can get even one item that gives us a HP up could mean a lot. More poison. Not getting a, a whole he hell of a lot of chests, I'll be honest. So it's not the best plan so far. It's not terrible either. Really. A chest I have to get hit to open. Did you have to, game? Did you have to give me one of those chests? It's really just kind of taunting me, isn't it? Okay, this is bad. Put myself in a real bad spot there. Ah, come on. Could have been a red chest full of HP as well. Right, last room. And nothing there. Okay, we just gotta go for it and hope for the best, I guess. The good thing is, his tears are gonna always be quite a, a good distance from us. It's these phases 
that I'm mostly worried about. Because I've got to deal with other normal enemies. And I accidentally just destroyed my bottles. I don't want to be doing that ever, really. Oh, shit. Um, Common Cold has given us poison bombs, too. I didn't even think about that. There's so much cool stuff going on right now. Okay, we're, we're past the hardest part. Gotta remember we've also got Empty Vessel in the mix here as well. Uh, giving us random invincibility. I kind of thought you'd just die there. My bad. This might be one of the cooler runs I've had in a while. I say that quite a lot, I feel, but... This time it's definitely true. Definitely a really cool run. Where's my, where's my dumpy fella? He is with me, good. Ah, I keep smashing my bottles. It's very easy to do with this high fire rate. But I'll be very candid about how much I hold my button for. The good thing is, in situations like this, there's almost nothing he can do to hit me. Because there's a constant stream of uh, eyes, because we have a guaranteed way of generating them. And there's so many of them that they have such a strong gravitational pull over his tears that they, they can't really escape the epicenter of underneath his chin. A lot of fun. That was a lot of fun. I hope you guys enjoyed this one, and I'll see you guys in the next one.